Hey, Daybreak, fuck you. You could have really had a winner here, Daybreak. You could have really had a solid winner. Battle Royale was a cool idea. Everyone's dropped into a map, and then as they kill each other through wanton acts of violence and desperation, scrounging for ammunition and supplies and all the things that we need to win and to outlast all the other players, gas is slowly but surely encroaching upon the world, making the playing field smaller and smaller to encourage even more violence. I love the idea. It's an interesting concept to me. You could have had a winner here, Daybreak. But you had to go and fuck it up. Because I guess you just really, really needed more money. It's not enough that this game already had all the microtransactions. It's not enough that you already charged people 20 bucks to get into early access after saying it's going to be free to play at the end. Now you're telling us that you're splitting the game into two completely different ones, which in and of itself isn't a bad idea. I think that's a good idea because there's a lot of people out there like me who only play Battle Royale. I couldn't give two rats asses about the Just Survive version of this game. But there's a lot of people like me who just want to play the Battle Royale version. But it's not enough for you that people have already paid 20 bucks for early access. You changed the fact that it was going to be free to play into split the game into two pieces and then sell each one individually for $20 even though it's $20 to get both of them now. I would understand and I would be a lot more lenient if you had split them up and they'd be 10 each. You'd still be scumbags for, for going renegade on something that you had said before. You'd still be scumbags but I'd be a lot more inclined to give you some leeway here because at least half of the game, if you only wanted to play half the game like me, would be half of the price. Fair enough. I can understand that. I don't have to agree with it, but I understand it. But no, it wasn't enough for you, was it? It wasn't enough. So you've got the survival section by itself now. Fair enough. I don't care about the survival section. You got the PvP section by itself now. They're both being developed by two independent development teams that are inside the Daybreak Games studio. Okay. Fair enough. I think this is a good thing. As I said before, I think this is a good thing. I think that Battle Royale is an idea that deserves its own tender love and care. I think that this is a mode that can absolutely stand by itself, and I am not at all surprised that they decided to split this game up. Battle Royale, as I said before, has potential to be a real winner, a real excellent arcadey arena-style shooter with very light survival elements, really, really light survival elements. That is great to play with friends. And hey, if you would have priced this at 10 bucks, this would be super solid. This is definitely worth 10 bucks, and with third person in it, and with skins available and different things available, I can see how you could sustain yourself through skins and weapon camos and all that stuff. Fair enough. Microtransactions, I get it. You gotta keep making money over time. I understand that. But you really fucked the pooch when you told us they'd be 20 bucks each. I, you really fucked the pooch on that. You want, you want to see something fun? You want to see something fun? Right now, go to the store page of this game on Steam. And I, and I know you're probably not going to be surprised with what you see. You're probably not going to be shocked when you go to the store page of this game on Steam and all of a sudden... 49%. Already there are 865 views your reviews and... and, and half of those are negative all right in fact if you go to the helpful reviews the top 53 are negative i'm not saying the 54th one was positive i'm saying after 53 i think i had made my point and i stopped counting so sure half of the reviews may be positive but when you actually go and look at the reviews and you can scroll down for days and you don't see a positive one amongst them yeah sends a bad message sends a bad message to people who haven't had this game and of course, it's been stewing for a while. This has been in the news. If you type in H1Z1 on Google, and then you, then you go to the news tab, all of the stories listed either have no comments or bad comments. Except for... Except for this one. 
Can't wait to play Battle Royale on my Xbox One. Gee, I wonder who could have wrote that. In any event, obviously this game is not exactly in gamers' good graces at the moment for obvious reasons. Obviously. In any event, this kind of leaves the people like me who enjoyed Battle Royale somewhat and were interested to see where it goes sort of in a pickle. I've already given them money, and I already have both of these products when they're released. I mean, why have one early access game to finish when you could have two early access games? <laughs> so I've got the games, and I've already given them money, and I don't plan on giving them any more money, as everything that I will get from this game will come from the marketplace, so I'll get it from the seller. Hooray, capitalism. And I don't like Daybreak now, so I guess I have to look for silver linings wherever they may or may not be. And there actually are a few silver linings here. There are a few small good things that we can draw from this debacle of Olympian proportions. Firstly, I would suggest to people who have not bought this game to not buy it. It's fun, sort of, but it's not... it's... no. Mm -mm. Don't give Daybreak more money, please. Show them that you're not going to give them money. Vote with your wallet, please. Don't buy this game. I'm not saying pirate it. I'm saying don't buy this game. We should send a message to people. We're PC gamers. We have the capacity to actually do that and get results. And perhaps to cheer you up a little bit more, if you aren't already in the doom and gloom cloud of unhappiness, it turns out I found this article here from Moby Picker, I guess is what it is. H1Z1, get refunds on Steam regardless of playtime. By Rahul. No last name necessary, because your first name is Rahul. Like, directed by Tarsum. He's 54, by the way. Anyway, this article says that they've actually been giving refunds for people who have played longer than two hours. There are conflicting reports, but I was thinking to myself, if this actually turns out to be true, that would be an awfully nice gesture from Daybreak that would legitimately make me hate them less. If we could get our money back whenever we wanted to, if they offered unconditional refunds, which would, which would be the second time they offer refunds for this game. Remember when it first came out, the airdrop ticket things? That would be a hell of a start into getting back into everyone's good graces, mine included. If they offered unconditional refunds, I would instantly not hate them anymore. Because then we would be able to completely get back everything that we spent. Which meant that there would be officially no harm done to our bottom line money-wise, and we would have at least had the experience of playing their game. They would still have done shady things, but they would have given us the means to alleviate ourselves of any financial burden such shadiness would have caused. In this hypothetical scenario where they offer unconditional refunds, I can understand that that would take a lot of guts from a business financial perspective. Whether or not they will actually do that and gain that amount of respect from the player base, myself included, is yet to be seen. But that's not all that they should be doing right now. What they should also do, and what I legitimately think is one of the good things about this whole schmagagel here, is that now they have their own development section within their company working solely on Battle Royale. They need to really, really, really make this game as good as it can possibly be. I said before this game needs a bit of tender love and care to make it excellent. But, if this development team in Daybreak takes Battle Royale, or King of the Kill as they are calling it, which is a stupid name, and make it not an alright game, not a nifty game, but an excellent shooter that's deep, that allows for a lot of customization, that has a very fair business model from this point out, then that would go a long, long way with me to show that they did not have just bad intentions in mind, or at least greedy intentions in mind. A lot of people, myself included, think that the main reason this was done was for purely financial reasons. 
because that kind of seems obvious and self-evident at this point. But if this game mode legitimately came to be excellent because of this focus on it as an individual standalone release, okay, I'd be willing, okay, sure, then I'd be willing to believe them that this was a more of a creative decision. And one thing that is actually kind of pointing to the fact that this game will get a whole lot better is the fact that just one day after the split occurred, there actually was a fairly sizable update that was released on February the 18th right off the bat. So obviously they had this in the works for a while, but they were very, very quick to make sure that there was at least something new to be released with King of the... Ugh, with Battle Royale Plus. Also, I found this article on GameSpot where they were talking about this breakup. Apparently, Daybreak had an interview with GameSpot or vice versa or whatever. And during that interview, from the Daybreak chief publishing officer, Laura Na Navi Navia Na Laura, who, according to GameSpot in their words, she explained that it became clear to Daybreak from their own observations and player feedback that people were largely playing the game in two distinct ways, Battle Royale versus Open World. So it made sense to split them up in an effort to better serve both audiences. Which I would totally believe if they didn't charge separate fees that were both equal to the amount that you got both of them for in one payment. Whatever. Anyway, quote, they have completely different communities that have different needs, desires, and wants, and we really want to be able to cater and grow the games to be able to nurture both of those players. Bases distinctly, she said. After a lot of the thought, we came to the conclusion that we should really split these games into two different products, and the player community had actually asked us to do that. And you know what? I believe her when she says that the community asked for it. I'll believe her when she says that, because I can see nothing but benefits from splitting Battle Royale away from the survival section, because a lot of people didn't even play the survival section, and giving it its own team. I see the immense benefits of doing that. However, I don't think there's a way in hell the community also said, charge us 20 bucks for both. Especially after you originally said it would be free to play, and then you said we could pay to get early access, and you already have all the microtransactions in the game, which thankfully are only vanity-based. But there is no way we ask for that. So, you can try and turn this on us, Laura, but, um, fuck you. Seriously. Fuck you for trying to put this on us. Fuck you for attempting to make this into an issue that we created. Fuck you for trying to spin this around and say it's our fault. Because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to play the PR gal. You're trying to somehow insinuate subtly that this is just what we asked for. Fuck you, Laura. But I've already told you how you can make it up to us. But oh, Battle Royale, Battle Royale. H1Z1, H1Z1. You sure have had your fair share of controversy. And, oh man, I wouldn't be surprised if later on we just got something else. Daybreak announces respawn tickets, so you can respawn and play the game again after you die. Now only 25 cents each. What's that? You ran out of bullets in the middle of your battle royale session? Don't worry, with free ammunition tickets, you can purchase for 25 cents for a pack of 50. You can get bull. Hmm. I'm just saying, I just get this feeling like this isn't the last of the controversy we'll have with H1Z1. I just get this feeling that they're going to try to pull some more shit. So, yeah, there you go. Those are my thoughts. Here's some old-ass footage. Have you opened any of your crates? No, I, I haven't even really found out how. I didn't look, though. But well, you, have, you have to do it from, like, in-game. Like, like, literally in a server. Like, now. You can do it right now, literally. <laughs> it's oh, really weird. okay. You don't do it from the main menu. You do it from, like, in, in gameplay. It's very strange. I don't know why they did that. I guess that's how you can access it immediately. Uh, who knows? Yes. I opened a few. I got some of the stuff I got on right now. It's from a curve. This second. Uh, open crate. 
purchase key. Fuck you. Well, you should already have it, like two or two keys probably. I think. Alpha, I unlock the alpha launch crate. I unlocked the dirty bomb camo. Dirty bomb camo? No, no, a tan canvas outback hat. Nice. Well, okay, okay. All right, we're not bad for. I, I'm not gonna seven. complain for free. I gotta purchase a key. Uh, Vigilante crate, open crate, purchase key. Marauder crate, open crate, purchase a motherfucking key. Yeah, I think it only gave you one free. I know I had enough free though. I don't know. Maybe I got it from a drop or something there in a match. I don't know. Anyways, let's start heading, uh, we're in Yeah, I got my, seven. I got a, survived, yeah, it survived PW1. I don't even know what that is, but I survived it because it says so on my shirt. Alright, so, hey, let's go west, let's straight west. <laughs> you guys. Survived me. Oh shit, oh shit. You get shot? Behind us. You get shot? I oh, heard yeah, the shots. Go. Yeah, he's right above us. He's coming down, he's coming down. He's above me. There's two, I think. I think there's two. Got him! Nice one, nice one. Yeah. Get shot on, nerds! <laughs>